My dad started taking me duck and goose hunting when I was six years old, and he's the one who taught me, uh, son, if you're gonna take from the resource, make sure you give back. It obviously grew from there, and I'll be 52 in March, and I have not missed a single season since then. I guess when you look at Mike and, and you look at the relationship that he had with his father, it's a very special relationship. And you look at what we're doing today and you know that Mr. Ruby's looking down on us and looking down on Mike and, and happy to see the joy in Mike. When I really got to know Mike, I immediately saw his passion for waterfowl hunting. I kind of knew my junior year in high school I wouldn't cut out for college, so I joined the Marine Corps right after. When I got finished with that, I chose the Blue Collar Way of Life, and I am currently a head journeyman lineman for Center Point Energy. The guys you see running around the bucket trucks and hard hats, that's us out there working long hours and, and uh, getting everybody's power back on. That's what, as linemen, that's what we care about, taking care of our customers. Once you learn how to do it, it's you, it's a, something to be passionate about, but not near as much as my waterfowl hunting and my decoy carving and my decoy collection. But uh, this is what I do for a living. You know, he just is that kind of person, you know, he gives back no matter what it is. You know, he's going to help the person stranded on the side of the road, you know, the little kid that needs 25 extra cents to buy a candy bar at the store. Um, you know, he's just a, a loving and giving person. There is absolutely nothing like watching a sunrise over uh, the Gulf Coast of Texas. Once you see it and you experience it outdoors, you know what, you're, you're living then in my opinion. Rockport is a very, very unique place. Not only do you have the divers, but you also have the puddle ducks. You have your pintails, your mallards, your widgeon, your teal. Yeah, just bring me the bandit ones. My uh, old, our very first RD at the time told me that I could donate monthly to Ducks Unlimited. If I'm not mistaken, that was 1996, and it will be 2017 here in about a week and a half, and I have donated every month since then. When I'm passionate about something, it just comes out. It's oozing out of me, you know? It's a diet in the wool, and that's what a, a true waterfowler does, in my opinion. It just proves that anybody can be a major donor. It doesn't matter if you're a, a banker, an electrician, or a work for the power company like Mike. Anybody can be a Ducks Unlimited major donor. I feel Mike's passion and commitment for everything he does is wholehearted. You know, he gives it 110%. He jumps in with both feet. And I, I think that's one thing that's special about him. Well, obviously, as a waterfowler, you need decoys to hunt ducks. And my dad used to talk about when he was a kid growing up in Baytown, hunting over wooden 
decoys and those are all gone now so I started collecting them and then as a, a few years went by working with my hands I had a knack for wanting to learn how to do it and but I carved working decoys gunning decoys we call them and they're that they're there to do a job they get shot up and bloody but that's what decoys are for he uh, he's an avid decoy collector and carver um, I'm lucky enough to own Mike's second ever carved decoy it's pretty special Mike's a very special individual to me uh, very fortunate to call him a Teresa a friend. My wife and I do not have children, so part of my legacy is going to be giving back to what brought me so much enjoyment and passion. And when every time they see a bird or they take their children, I want everybody to see what I got to see. I have a 401 with my job, I'll be retiring soon. I look at this as a secondary savings plan because every fall when these birds start coming down, that's my dividend, paying off.